Now, before we get started, I wanted to go over the term of juxtaposition. And here's a great example in the TV series called Portlandia. If you haven't checked it out, I find it really funny. Plus, it's about one of my favorite cities. So let's watch. What do you want me to do? Can I go? Is that a yes? I don't understand. This is actually an art project. What? I'm showing the juxtaposition of motion and stillness in a shared public space. Isn't this dangerous being in the middle of the street? That's what I'm trying to say with the art piece. Good right. luck with it, all right? So what a great use of juxtaposition, putting two things together that normally don't go. So now let's take a look at what you need to do for your project and how you might use juxtaposition. So in our project, you've already started with your background. Well, now it's time to add your sketch with your images. So you're going to take your sketch, and that's what you're going to be adding. You're going to use the brush as well. You can use your own brush, or you can download brush to add those depth and interest to your project. All right. So here I've gone out and I've used the Creative Commons, which are images that the artist has said you are able to use. So I'm using these Creative Commons images. And in this example, which is about human rights, I've taken a couple of bushes, as you can see, and I'm just copying them over and over. This is going to form the basis of my design. I want to plant everything in the bushes so that it doesn't look like anything has been cut out. In our last project, when you added some, your images, some of you, I noticed, had images that looked like they were cut out. Here we want to plant everything in terms of uh, a metaphor that our images, and here I've planted, uh, and I'm using shapes to ground all of my images. So I'm making what is essentially looks like an earth with some bushes on top of it. Now I've added cityscape, which I've copied several times over. But the idea is that all images should seem like a cohesive whole. Right? There should be a uniformity to it. Now I'm adding some brushes. And notice that the brushes give that depth, and they also give uh, texture to your work. And I've used a sole set of de uh, brushes. I've also taken brushes and added a uh, half tone. Lots of effects that you can do. Here I've taken more brushes and I'm sort of creating an outline to really pop my image out from the background to separate it. So it's like three layers. Everyone's project is going to be different and it's your task to ask me, how could I do something? And hopefully I'll be able to point you to places that will give you a tutorial on how to do something, or else I will come over and quickly show you how to do it. Here I'm just cleaning up, removing some images that I don't like, and there you have it. And so your idea is to make your sketch come alive using Creative Commons images, going to create and using juxtaposition now, which is here with the dove. So I have this dove flying over the city, kind of juxtaposition with the sign. So now it is your job to really find images that maybe not go together perfectly and that you make them go together using brushes. And you will have a tutorial tomorrow on how to find and download brushes. This next part of the project is about using your sketch and finding images to make it come alive and incorporating brushes for a unified design.